Hi guys, welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about leading kids and youth. Leading kids and youth is the opportunity of a lifetime. I know so many adults, including myself, who can look back in their teenage years and their childhood and pinpoint specific moments when they were impacted by kids and youth leaders. So don't take this task lightly. You have the opportunity to impact a lifelong journey. So today we're gonna to give you four tips on how to be the best kids and youth leader you can be. The first tip is to be yourself. Sometimes kids and youth are even better than adults at spotting a fake. They can tell when you're trying to be their friend but not be very genuine. So make sure you be yourself. Be honest with them without oversharing. They'll appreciate your honesty just as much as any adult. The second tip is to get on their level. Now this can be physically but also mentally as well. So if you're talking to a child that's definitely shorter than you, make sure you get down on your knees and look them in the eye. They'll appreciate the attention and focus you're giving them, but also mentally as well. I had a teacher once say, learn a little bit about everything and you'll always have something to talk about. So make sure you're taking time to learn about what kids and youth are into right now. Don't try to talk to them about your business life and your marriage and what's going on in stocks and bonds. They're not going to be interested. Make sure you take time to learn about kids' TV shows, what movies youth are into, and what's going on at their school and in their sports. That way you will always have something to talk about. The third thing is to listen. I had a pastor tell me once, we can't expect kids to confide in us if we don't even listen to the silliest of their stories. And it's so true. If we can't even listen to their friendship drama, their news about their pizza party, or how their swimming lessons went, we can't expect them to confide in us when really big life events happen. So make sure when you're listening, you give them your full undivided attention, and you listen to every detail that they're going to tell you. The fourth thing is to show value. Now this goes for the kids and the parents, and there's a few ways you can show value. The biggest one is in how you present your program. Make sure that your program always looks like it was set up just for them. That can be with the cleanliness of the room, how you actually set up the room itself, and what resources and programs you're using to actually run your program. Other ways that you can show value to parents and kids is even in how you dress and how you spend your time with them. Make sure you dress to impress. Kids want the best out of you just as much as the adults do. And how are you spending your time with them? Don't promise them 10 minutes if you have to run away at five. Make sure when you promise them time, you give them time. And if they ask for your attention, give it to them fully and undivided. We hope those tips help. Thanks for watching.